What's up guys? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Uh, today was day 41 of our 80 day test group that we're in and the last day if you want to be in our next test group to get ready to join. So I got one more spot left. Um, but I want to talk just briefly about um, my experience with the workout today in Total Body Core and then give you guys a message about the power of women in our lives, okay? So uh, if this message impacts you or helps you in some sort of way, please share it with somebody else. Um, but Total Body Core was extremely hard, difficult for me this morning. I was feeling a, a, a small pain in my tendon near my elbow, so I had to step away from the curls during the curling part, and I just modified and did um, like a tricep extension because that didn't cause any pain. So I also want to uh, say uh, how excited and happy we are. My little sister had her baby last name last night. Her name is Nevea which is heaven backwards. So we're excited to go, my kids are super excited to go see their new cousin tonight. So um, I wanna share something about the power of women in our lives. And if you have a woman, uh, whether it's your mother, whether it's your wife or a sister that's had an influence on your life, I want you to please share this with them. Uh, I know that through the hardest times of my life, Gabby has been the one that has kept me strong. And I remember specifically telling her as I began my journey in 2011, to build a, a business online and in person uh, with this health and fitness thing, I remember saying to her, do you believe I can do this? And I was referring to the fact of like, I knew I could help some people. I knew I could help transform people because it worked for me. But what I was saying is, do you believe I can do this? I was asking if she believed that I could uh, be able to work hard enough at this, make this happen so that she could come home from working the night shift at the Hilton. So um, she said, you know, I don't know about that thing, but I believe in you. And it reminds me of a story from President Russell M. Nelson. I'm going to read a little bit of it. Um, actually, I'll read you the whole thing because it's a powerful story that, that impacts me. So Russell M. Nelson was a heart surgeon. Um, he's the president of the LDS Church. It says, 58 years ago, I was asked to operate upon a little girl. She was gravely ill from a congenital heart disease. Her older brother had previously died of a similar condition. Her parents pleaded for help. I was not optimistic about the outcome, but vowed to do all in my power to save her life. Despite my best efforts, the child died. Later, the same parents brought another daughter, then just 16 months old, also born with a mild malformed heart. Again, at their request, I performed an operation. This child also died. Guys, that's three children. This third heartbreaking loss in one family literally undid me. I went home grief stricken. I threw myself upon our living room floor and I cried all night long. Dansel stayed by my side, listening as I repeatedly declared that I would never perform another heart operation. Then around five o'clock in the morning, Dansel looked at me lovingly and asked, are you finished crying? Then get dressed, go back to the lab, and go to work. You need to learn more. If you quit now, others will have to painfully learn what you already know. Oh, how I needed my wife's vision, grit, and love. I went back to work and learned more. If it weren't for Dansel's inspired prodding, I would have not pursued open heart surgery and would not have been prepared to do the operation in 1972 that saved the life of the President Spencer W. Kimball. Uh, that was just a powerful message. Um, I've had this message, this um, story saved for about five years and I read it and I think about the power of women in our lives. So if there's a woman that has a lot of the power and that influence to help you as a man become better in your life, please share that story with them. And I hope you guys have an incredible day. We'll see you guys later on day 42 tomorrow.